Sunday. I hope you are having a terrific day and that you are making the most of it. Um, if you are new to this channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like luxury reviews, skincare, beauty, lifestyle, home decor, planning and organization, this channel is for you. So please click subscribe and support the channel because we are having a good time and we are quickly growing. So join the party. Um, I asked a lot of you on Instagram and if you're not following me on Instagram, I'll leave my handle right here because you should. Um, but I asked while I was out running errands today um, at Home Goods, and then I did end up going to the mall and visiting Crabtree and Evelyn again, even though I was just there yesterday, um, and also visited Lush. If you guys would want like a quick casual haul video, and a lot of you said yes, so it is super casual. I'm just sitting in our office, and I'm just going to go through what I picked up, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about why I chose the particular items, what our style is, and um, if I can, I'll even insert some photos of some of the things within the house. So uh, without further ado, I'm just going to jump right in because I'm going to keep this short and quick because I still have a plan with me video that I'm finishing editing and uploading today. So that is also coming your way. Um, but yeah, let's go ahead and dive into what I picked up at Home Goods. So let's start with two big items that I grabbed while I was there. For those who haven't started following um, this channel, you can visit any of my vlogs and you'll get a good vibe of what our home is. We are very bohemian with a global vibe. We like to collect things while we travel, so that's very much the vibe we want our home to have. Um, so you see like a lot of natural things um, and a lot of like globally inspired pieces. And one thing that I fell in love with, because we're trying to fill up some space within our dining room walls, was this amazing picture that has real feathers matted to it. And the reason I went with this um, is because it has a mix of blacks and browns and tans with the stark white background. It looks really, really sharp. So I went ahead and grabbed this at Home Goods, and it's going to look really good against our gray walls. And the other piece I bought, which I would love for someone to help me with, I found, it's really heavy, hold on, this monster, and it has a navy blue background, and then there's some sort of cloth weave, if I can get it up closer. I don't know exactly what that is. I don't know if it's like some sort of netting or fabric. If any of you have ever seen this before and know what this is, please let me know because I'm super interested in it. But anyway, we have a really big staircase um, from our living room up to the second floor and we needed something to fill like a very tall wall. So we found this piece and it is really enormous. Um, so we're hoping that fills that space in that wall. If not, our next option is to buy an antique Navajo rug and we will have it mounted and um, placed on the wall. Next so. item I picked up is actually like in the little artisan section of Home Goods. A lot of Home Goods and Home Senses will have like a little aisle or two aisles that are very like um, Eastern inspired, very global, and usually they're handcrafted artisan pieces. And that is where I found this stole, and it is called Uniquely Crafted is the brand I think it is. And this is by Artisans of India. And it's a really cool teak wood, I think it might be teak wood, I'm not sure. Um, but anyway, like a distressed, unfinished wood stole, very short. But what got me is this really neat tribal black and cream graphic design. I often will pick up a stole or an ottoman, especially one that is small, because they are just so handy to have and they also fit into many different spaces. So this is actually gonna go up in our upstairs hallway next to an antique, um, I don't know what it would call, I don't wanna call it a chest because it's not a chest, but like an antique cabinet. And it's just gonna go on the side of it and it'll add like a really nice piece of layering or dimension to it. I'll try to insert a photo once I get it set up. Here's a quick picture of what it now looks like in the hallway. What I love about these also is when you have company or a game night, you can go around the house and grab these ottomans and stools or benches and make a lot of extra seating so they become really functional. But when you find one with a really great graphic print, it's just a cool piece that adds some dimension um, when you layer it with like a bigger piece of furniture and it just 
makes your room look really tied together and this just also gives us a great graphic pop to any little space and our hallway is very drab so i'm really excited to see how this looks in that space the next thing i picked up um was actually to accompany a piece that I picked up at Ikea the last time I was there. Ikea is really pulling in some really neat, uh, I would say like rustic modern designs. And one thing I found at Ikea that I loved was this cream pillow that has this amazing deer, reindeer, I'm pretty sure it's a deer. I don't know. It's definitely not a moose, but it is a large deer of some kind with antlers. I love this pillow right away. I love like a really graphic bold print against white, but the pillows I had on our mudroom bench were like a cream or burlap type texture and it didn't look good with this. So when I went to Home Goods, I was really looking for something that would layer with this pillow really well. I don't know if you were like me. Long ago, when I went to buy throw pillows, I would only buy like four of the same and two went on each sofa and we called it a day and they all matched. That is not the way to do it and that is no way to express your personality. So I have three rules when it comes to throw pillows. Big print, small print, texture. And then along with that, they should all be within like the same color family or really complementary of each other. But hey, when it comes to color, I believe you do you boo. So this automatically is my big bold print pillow so what i would pair that with and it has grays blacks and then the whitish cream in the background i have a big print now i need a smaller print so the print that i would end up pairing with this would be something like this so this paired with this it has the black the white and it really complements each other now i have a big print i have a small print now i need texture that is where I can add this piece in. And as you can see, I have my small print, my large print, and my texture, and they all really go together. And the mudroom bench that they'll be sitting on is white. So I'm also gonna try to insert a picture somewhere right about here. So you can see the big print, small print, and texture really tie it together. When working with pillows, remember three things. Big print, small print, texture. Stick with those, you will have a really nice cohesive looking collection that also expresses your personality and just doesn't look so boring. So here's my other big rule. So many people are afraid to put rugs over carpeting or layer rugs on top of rugs. Anytime you layer, you're adding a dimension of design and depth to anything. So I will often layer a rug on top of carpet. Where I think it is really worth it to do this is right on your bedside where you get out of bed each morning. So I actually just replaced my rug that I keep next to my bed with this amazing rug that I found at Home Goods. Once again, you'll see that it matches like my whole house color scheme, but this is like the softest, most fluffy, like zhuzhy carpet you could ever ask for. And this is the kind of texture I want my feet to first touch when I get out of bed in the morning. It is those little things that just make you like, ah. Oh. And it's just a great start of your day. So I always layer like the softest, most zhuzhy, comfortable rug right next to my bed. And I usually lay it in at an angle. Once again, I'll try to insert a picture of it so you can see once it's in the space. So I layered the rug at an angle so it's the first thing my feet touch in the morning. So now I have two more things to talk about quickly. And once again, it's about layering. You can find at Home Goods really reasonably priced, a lot of wooden, cut. they're with the cutting boards, but I call them more like trays because I wouldn't be cutting on these. I think many people overlook these and are like, what would I do with them? There's one thing about just throwing down a candle on a coffee table, but as soon as you put one of these and you layer a piece on top of it, for example, this, this stone, which we're going to talk about briefly. Most people would just lay this on their table, call it a day. But as soon as you add like one little piece, that now makes this look completely different. So don't overlook these little cutting boards. I think I paid $3 for this one and $5 for this one. By using these as pedestals and layering pieces, it'll add a whole different dimension to your tablescape, to your coffee table anything like that. So don't overlook these. Use these as little platforms for really cool eclectic design. Also, if you really want that global design, you cannot do it without bringing in a lot of earthy 
pieces. So you saw in my haul from Home Goods today, I had the feathers, I have that fabric netting, whatever it is. I have that really tribal design with that rustic wood on the stole. I brought in the fur, I have the print of the deer, I brought those wood layer tray pieces, I have that big wool rug. That's bringing in a lot of textures from things that are in nature. And one of the things that you have to bring into your space because I started bringing them in about a year ago after a trip to Arizona where crystals were really big. And that is, this is quartz here and then I have another stone crystal type thing. These add sparkle without being over the top and I think it's like the new way to add the crystal chandelier to a space because I don't know about you, I don't like glass and crystal and stuff like that, but when it comes through with stones and natural pieces like this, I love the sparkle this adds to a space. So I got this one. I am going to layer it with that wood because I feel like that brings a really nice balance to something like this. And then the other piece I have that I have to share with you because I'm so excited to do it is anytime you find one of these stones. This was at Home Goods. It was $12.99, but as you can see, like it's completely like beveled out, so it almost could work as a bowl. This is a really awesome way in your office to hold paper clips or anything like that. Don't look at it as just a piece you have to set by itself. Think about what you can do with it. I was thinking of buying some air plants, and because this has such natural places, this isn't an air plant. This is just a fake artificial succulent that I have. You could start layering in some artificial, let me grab one more. You could start layering some artificial or real air plants into this, but then if you were to pair that with setting on one of these wood trays, you bring in so many elements. You have the warmth of the wood, you have the life and like greenery of the plant, and then you have like the sparkle of the stone and it really just makes this one thing really pop. I stopped at Crabtree and Evelyn yesterday. You know that Estee Lalan got me feeling all sorts of ways about Crabtree and Evelyn. So in yesterday's vlog, I went there. You can check out that vlog. I'll leave it linked down below. But I picked up two more pieces from the La Source line. And the two that I chose to pick up were the Exfoliating Body Scrub with Fine Pumice. This is a scrub that awakens, exfoliates, and just softens your skin. Um, once again, the La Source line, it literally smells like you're going to the ocean. It's so amazing. And then the other thing I bought, especially with it being seven degrees out today, is I bought the overnight, sorry about that. Aww. A housewife just commented on my video and she said, you always make me smell. I used Crabtree and Evelyn for ages on and off. And now I just feel extremely old. I thought I was the only one that still cooked in a slow cooker. I'm in love. Um, I can't see the whole comment because it's not letting me see it. Um, but how odd. She talked about Crabtree and Evelyn and we're looking at Crabtree and Evelyn. Um, anyway, I bought the overnight hand therapy cream and I'm really excited to use this because my hands are super dry right now and it says um, nighttime recovery treat hands to an intensive beauty sleep therapy with our specially formulated nighttime preparation that gets the work done as you sleep the formula is rich with a concentrated complex designed to enhance the skin's natural barrier maintain its natural moisture levels and soothe dryness and once again I smell this in the store <sighs> it is to die for. Um, so I'm gonna be trying this tonight as well. Um, so I will keep you posted on all these things that I bought from La Source. Well, Crabtree and Evelyn's La Source collection. Yes, getting comments is truly like the best thing on the planet. And I don't care how big this channel gets, I will tirelessly work to respond to everyone um, because it is one of my favorite things to do. And then after, Cra oh, I also got a free cosmetic bag that I'm kind of over chevron. Is anyone else over chevron? Leave me know in the comments. I think I chevroned myself out about three years ago. Thing. I stopped at Lush and picked up some bath bombs and I'm going to have a really honest conversation with you. I love bath bombs. I tried to use a variety of them. 
but I don't know if you feel the same way that I do. Some of them make a hideous mess in your bathtub, whereas to the point of like, I was using this to relax has now just become a stressor and now I have to scrub the bathtub out because it is full of glitter. It's a mess. I only buy three bath bombs and I'm gonna share you share you. I'm going to share with you the three that I buy because they don't leave a mess in your tub. So this is full of bath bombs, but I'm only going to share the three that I buy. The first one is called the, I think it's called Fizz Buster, Fizz Bath, <sighs> I don't know. I will leave it linked down below. It's Fizz something. It is super citrusy, super lemony, a really, really great scent. Um, and this one doesn't leave any mess in your bathtub so you can actually enjoy it and you don't have to clean your tub afterwards. Uh, next one that I buy all the time is the Avo Bath. This is avocado and lime and it has the best smell. It does turn your water really green but it leaves no residue, no glitter, no mess. Um, that is why I use it all the time. This also, if you start doing the dry brush that I was talking about beforehand, your skin will feel so soft. I'm gonna be using one of these tonight. And lastly, the last bath bomb that I use all the time is the Dragon's Egg. Once again, it's a white. This one has like a lot more like fruity, floral smells to it. It reminds me of something and I cannot place it. And I think my nose is all white right now. <laughs> <laughs> um, not good to have white powder residue around your nose. People will start wondering about me, but I promise it's a bath bomb. Um, the Dragon's Egg, it's really fruity. There's definitely like a citrus smell to it. Um, but once again, no glitter, no residue in your bathtub. Um, so I use Dragon Egg, Avo Bath, and then the Fizz one. So that is what I picked up at HomeGood, Lush, and at Crabtree and Evelyn today. If you like this video, if you like hauls, if you like product reviews, please click subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I will leave all that information that you need down below. In the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of my videos. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone and it'll come back to you in full. So until next time. Bye-bye.